can actually change what people see on your website according to how they are categorized by the data, right? Just talk to me a little bit about what that means exactly. People who didn't convert, so they didn't leave their name or their um, information with us, we can actually set something, um, a, little, a little file, a cookie onto their browser and can reach them again through Facebook, for example, and say, please, everybody who didn't convert, please show them again an advertising or show them a different offer, like, for example, coupon code. And that's, um, from, uh, that's known as re retargeting. And um, yeah, you target again the people who were on your website already, who you engaged with already, and they are more likely to actually convert because they already saw something from you. So this way you can take your data and actually activate it and make it into something that works for your business. Isn't that amazing? That's one of the coolest tools, I think. The power of that is that you are reinforcing your visibility in front of them repeatedly. It builds reputation, it builds uh, trust, it builds uh, confidence in who you are. And at some point, if they see you in, or in an organic post, they may click on it. I mean, there's people that say that you require six to 10 touch points before somebody will actually become active. You've used the term activate, but activate themselves, that they might click through on a link to see your website. Right. We are, again, not talking about personal information that we would get from the user. We don't necessarily know who the user is, but we have data points about him. Where is he from? For example, that is something that Google Analytics shows us uh, directly. Where is he, which traffic source did he come in from? So that can let us know what marketing message he might have seen. We also know the day of time, for example, and what device he's on. So if he's on an iPhone or an Android phone, that might already tell you a lot about what person you have in front of you. And based on that, you can change around your messaging. This gets very much into the weeds of personalization. So you personalize um, the website, but also the communication later on in the email funnel for that user. And obviously, if you have the right message at the right time for the right person, you are more likely to convert that person into a buyer, into an investor, into somebody um, or the action that you want the user to take. Definitely in the, in the real estate space, a lot of people have used this. Are you looking for houses in Houston? Are you looking for houses in New York? That's obviously if the user comes from New York, you don't want to have a big headline saying um, this is not relevant to me because this is not, I'm not in Houston. Why would I look at this? So again, depending on the space you're in, this can be used in very creative ways.